Fairman, head coach John Tillman. Coach, we'll start us off with a statement and we'll open it to questions. Coach? Um, sure. Uh, really proud of our guys. Um, uh, just excited to kind of see them compete today and start the 2020 season. They've worked really hard and, um, you know, decided to take on a team that's very talented and well coached at high point. And what they did last year was really impressive. So um, our guys felt like they prepared really well, uh, had a great week of practice, and um, leadership's been great. And, um, you know, it wasn't always pretty, but to get a win against a really good team uh, at this time of year is it's just a great way to start. Coach Torpy complimented you uh, at his press conference and said you made some great halftime adjustments at faceoff. Was there anything special you did or told Shockey? I felt like that was a big difference in the second half um, was if you just look at statistically, like we were able to, it was almost at times like we, we were able to like get a goal, get the ball again, get the ball, get the, uh, get a goal again. And that got us into rhythm and credit them. First half, we had a, a tough time getting the ball back. We struggled in the second quarter, especially. Um, and I give Coach Barbara and, and Shock and Connor all the credit. They do a great job. And, and Tyler really does an awesome job with our faceoff guys. So he deserves, you know, all the accolades for that. CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9% .9 reliability isn't good enough, call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 or on the web at cagfederal.com. Coach, you talked about the unselfishness of the team is one of the things that excited you at Media Day and 14 assists on 23 goals today. Can you talk a little bit more about that unselfishness? Yeah, I, I think, listen, you know, I, I told the guys, you know, like we were at the press conference and I, I reminded them just when you guys asked the questions, reflecting about this team and how much fun it's been to be around them and how much, you know, like just it's been a great year, just and even the season hadn't started, but they just, they're fun to be around. They're a great group. They're really unselfish on and off the field. And uh, I think you saw that today. Um, if anything, maybe we overpassed the times. We certainly wanted to uh, take some, some, some opportunities there. So, um, but uh, again, I think you saw what we've been seeing. Um, I don't think anybody cares about who gets the goal or who gets the credit. Um, they just like being around each other and they, they're really proud of wearing the Maryland jersey. So Coach, you had a lot of young guys step up early. Brennan playing early. Um, Share playing at the, uh, at the midfield spot there at the LSM spot. Can you talk about their performance today? Yeah, you know it, it's been a it's been a tough couple of weeks for for Jack Brennan. He actually went home to upstate New York middle of the week. His uncle passed away um, last week, and um, obviously, you know, we feel for his family. And, and and these guys did a tremendous job of supporting him through a tough time. And um, you know, you're a freshman and you lose somebody really close to to, to you, and a guy that helped introduce Jack to lacrosse. So. Um, I think the support of the teammates was huge for Jack because he looked confident today and you know it was early in the game and he was not afraid to step in there so um, he did a good job. We had so many young guys whether it was Connor or Justin who's had a, a, a great um, year so far for us in practice. Um, Josh Kaufman did a good job today. I thought Chris Brando you know settled down um, and I think I think we helped him a little bit. But Jake Higgins did a nice job today, uh, Nick Grill. So there's a lot of new parts that made I mean, huge contributions for us. Speaking of Brenda, what did you see from him in his, in his debut in goal? I, I liked his body language. Um, I liked his presence. Um, you know, he made some saves early. Uh, and then they got inside on us, and they're ones that it's just tough. Um, but he didn't flinch, um, stayed positive, uh, cleared the ball well, it drew an important penalty for us. Um, so, you know, for it's hard to believe that that's his third start ever. So we still are young, um, but I think it's a good opportunity for him uh, to grow and learn. <coughs> and, uh, certainly, got a big game next week against another really good SoCon team. Logan, six goals, Bubba, six assists. Talk about your how you guys complimented each other today. I thought it was great. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll start. I mean, like he said, I mean, we're a really unselfish group. I mean, you just said it. Bubba had six assists. Like. You know, it's easy to play with guys like Jared, um, you know, John, uh, Jack Brennan got us, you know, shot us out of the hole in the first quarter. I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of easy, like playing with those guys, like you just kind of move off of them. Like they see the game, how you see it, like mm -hmm. kind of just step in like those empty spots and mm -hmm. they give you the pass and you just finish. 
Uh, I think a lot of that is communication too. Um, I mean, we do. I thought we did a pretty decent job of moving the ball today, um, but just everyone was on the same page. Our coaches really prepared us, and then the scout team gave us a great look through through the week. So we kind of knew what they were going to throw at us, um, and we just talked. And I mean, High Point did a great job in the first half. Great job all game. But um, I just think that we were uh, we were just communicating great, and so we got a couple couple good looks. Matt. Yeah. John, um, 70 shots, you know, whether fairly or not, you know, I don't think this is a program known for transition offense and early offense. Um, how good can this team be, you know, kind of in those phases of the game? Um, you know, certainly um, the fun part is trying to figure out how good we can be, you know, and trying to go to work every day. Um, you know, I think every year here you kind of look at what you have and stylistically you play to what you have. and. Uh, we feel like this is a team that, you know, we have guys that handle the ball well, and there's been a lot of investment in, in our defensive personnel, and we have good athletes that are experienced now. Um, you know, Matt Rahill's a junior, and he handles the ball particularly well. Um, Roman is a guy that, like, he's shooting righty, he's shooting lefty. Like, uh, if you're a defensive midfielder, typically those guys become, you know, like one-handed maybe, um, and they're good at defending. He's a guy in the open field. He can split either hand and shoot, and that comes from repetitions. Like, you could tell all break he was working on his left hand, and um, you know he's a guy that we let go, and he's earned that right because he's practiced so much and he's invested. So we we kind of tell the guys like we'll, we can adjust the game plan to what we have, and you guys becoming more diverse in your skill sets and being able to dodge and push and handle allows us to do more. If we don't have that and we're not very deep, then you know we probably have to be a little more cautious. So I think the depth is, is another thing for us um, and the guys being fit. But these guys make such good decisions. Um, you know, These guys have been two of our, our, our best leaders so far on and off the field, and there's a lot of trust for us. And a lot of times it's them making the calls. Um, and now with that ownership, you know, like you just feel comfortable that you know, they'll make the right decision, get us organized, and they'll take a lot of responsibility for it. And they don't need us as much. Um, and, and the game's so free-flowing, uh, it's the best way to be. Wayne. Uh, the offense was spectacular, but can you guys, uh, Bubba and Logan, comment on the defense and what kind of job you saw Brett do shutting down their Tawaratan uh, list attackmen? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, they have a great offense. Um, I think our coaches, and mainly Jesse, did a great job of game planning um, just throughout the week. And we had a couple scout guys really step up into a big role. Um, Kyle Brickard uh, was wearing number 32 for scout, and I thought he was giving um, our defense a great look. Uh, the biggest thing, again, is communication down there. We have a lot of guys that are great at communicating off ball, so uh, it helps the defense just be on the same page the whole time, and that allowed our defense to have a lot of success today. Bubba and Logan, in the second half, it seemed like, in addition to the adjustments at the face-off X, it seems like you did, you guys did a good job of moving off ball as well. Was that a big emphasis at halftime, trying to get some more open cuts moving off ball? I mean, that's been an emphasis all spring, you know, just moving. Whereas, like, in the years past, we've kind of just stayed on the perimeter and kind of, like, let guys show and get off. Whereas this year, you know, we're kind of, like, free-flowing. Like, the offense is more kind of, like, free-flowing and we can move. Like, so, I mean, it's been, like, easy like be able to cut like whenever you want and just you know fill replace like it's kind of been nice that you not have that freedom but well, logan pl playing on a team like this with this much offensive talent how, how much fun is that for you guys it's awesome um i mean more importantly these guys on the field and the guys on the team are just amazing people so it's fun to be around them and then like just being able to go out and play a game with them is all the better in the maryland jersey like i couldn't ask for anything else okay. Um, coach, what is the conversation like, obviously, after the second quarter? A lot of goals you know, for both sides to sort of try to calm the game down. It looked like in the second half you guys were much more sort of steady, both defensively and obviously attacking. Yeah, we just had, we had some breakdowns defensively. You know, we have some young guys in there and, you know, give high point credit. Um, you know, and Coach Bernhardt, you know, to, to uh, Bubba's point, you know, we went back and looked two years ago when we played them. It was a really tight game. We kind of looked at what they did and, um, you know, Jesse anticipated something that they did, which they actually did do. They took our short six behind a lot. Um, so we prepared for that. And we were, you know, we had practiced some things and we didn't quite execute them as well as we would have liked. Uh, maybe we're a little step behind. We would slide, but then we would fill the crease and they jammed it in and scored. Um, they have, you know, pretty athletic guys that they're one handed, but they do a really good job of, they'll go one way and see if you, 
you know, go too far and they'll try to get back to their strength. And at times uh, we slid and we let them get back to their strength and they got to the middle and hit some, some shots. Um, so there are some things I think we need to improve upon, but I think those were points of emphasis in, 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 at halftime of, you know, hey, let's just settle down, remember some of our keys, remember strength, strength of hands, and then obviously winning face-offs is a big thing. You know, you, again, you keep the ball away from them a little bit, um, and, and clearing the ball effectively and getting those grounders, again, fewer stops for those guys to have to handle. Right. Coach, had you seen the John Tillman impersonation video before the game today? Um, no, I kind of I looked up and I'm like, this probably isn't coming at a good time because every guy on the team is probably looking at that right now. So, um, but um, I hadn't. But hey, have at it. You know, like as okay. the leader, man, you got to have humility, and, and we all we all get picked on. So I, I give them plenty of ammo. Um, all right. Well, so that's one more it. piece of film for you to look at, and we'll ask you about that <laughs> next week. <laughs> no, it's all good. Like, listen, we all get after each other a little bit. So, um, and that's part of what makes like going in the film room. We'll do some different things, and listen, you know, have at it with me too. And like to me, that's kind of cool for them to, yeah. to have some fun with it. And uh, they're they're very respectful kids. They're good-hearted kids. So, you know, I'll I'll keep giving them more. So yeah, and plenty good. to pick on. Anything else, guys? Last one, Jacob. Uh, Bubba and Logan, can you guys talk about the importance of finding the offensive rhythm early on? The first couple minutes of the game, you guys scored three goals, and then to start the second half, you had three goals to extend the lead from 9 7 to 12 7. Um, yeah, I mean, all this, uh, the biggest thing, like, we come on the field and uh, we had a lot of great structure at the beginning of the, the possessions, um, and that really helped us just getting that, that, that rhythm, that flow that you're talking about. So, just if we were organized and we were communicating, then that's, that's why we were having a lot of success. Um, Early on, but yeah, to second that, I feel like uh, Justin Shockey did like a great job, like picking picking up with the face off X, like getting us that possession, so you know we could get in that rhythm and get those three goals, whatever it was, like at those end of uh, the beginning of the quarters. So, thanks, guys. Thank you. All right.